Hey guys, okay, so I'm super excited to be collabing with Mimi Bots today to bring you guys this kind of Korean actress inspired makeup look using their new I'm Eyeshadow eyeshadows, which I really like. They sent me these three to do this makeup look, and I already bought two more off their website. And yeah, I got um, the like deep green one and like the deep kind of. I don't know, mauve, burgundy kind of color. I just thought those were so pretty and I got those. Um, they magnetize shut. This is what they look like. And something else I noticed is they will kind of magnetize to each other and you can just stack them, which I think is great for storage and just looking clean and everything. And I hope you guys like this look. So, let's start. First, I'm going to apply Yogurt Peach, and this is going to be kind of a base for our brown eyeshadow. It's going to give it a more peachy and lighter color, but this is optional. And after that, I'm going to take Desert Brown and apply it all over the eyelid as well. On a blending brush, I'm going to take Desert Brown and apply it to the crease also. And with another brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. Next, with this beautiful pink color, I'm just going to apply that kind of above and onto the crease as well, which will just give it a warmer and more romantic feel. Next, with my Mica Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner and my Seta Brands Eyeliner Brush, I'm just going to get some on my brush and apply an extremely thin, thinnest line I possibly can all over the entire eyelid. And this was actually my first time trying this out. I copied it from like Korean actresses and I absolutely loved it. It actually made my eyes look so much bigger. I guess because it left like practically all of my eyelid space but there's still a line making your eye look bigger so it looks much bigger. I really like this technique actually. Now when winging out the eyeliner, I'm just going to try to keep it more straight out from my eye rather than going really high up like I usually like to do it. And if you don't get it right the first time, don't worry. You can always remove it with a Q-tip and then like re-put your eyeshadow and some concealer and you can always just fix it up with a Q-tip or whatever. Just practice makes perfect. Now we're just going to curl our eyelashes and apply a lengthening mascara. Next, since this is a more Korean inspired makeup, we're just going to try to make my really arched eyebrows a little bit straighter. So first I'm just going to brush the front up, the middle down, and the tail outwards. And as you can see that already makes it a lot straighter. Next with the lightest shade in this palette we're just going to fill in the eyebrows. And I'm giving them another quick brush through. Next, with my Eye Man Pencil in Blackest Brown, I'm just going to kind of draw it a bit straighter where the arch is. And just touching that up with a Q-tip. And next, with some concealer and any brush really, just go ahead and continue straightening the eyebrows out, just removing the top a little and also the front of the eyebrow on the bottom. And if you wanted to keep your eyebrows straight, you would just go ahead and pluck these hairs, but we're just going to be covering them up. Next, with the Gimme Brow Benefit Brow Gel, I'm going to just brush through my eyebrows a little with that as well. And now I'm just bringing my tail out to where my eyebrows should end, according to a brow chart. 
Also doing the same thing with my arch. And this will make sure your eyebrow still has shape to it and still flatters your face. And I applied it a little too dark and so I removed a little with a Q-tip and combed it out and that is it. Now I'm going to use my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just going to go around the sides of my face for now. And I'm also going to apply it under my cheekbones just because I like it this way. And the same for my nose. Oh, and I just want to fill in the front of my eyebrow there a little higher. And with that same pretty pink color, we're just going to use that as our blush. And since I continue to apply the blush a lot, I'm just going to take my powder brush and blend that out a little bit. And now with any white or peachy liner, just apply that to right under your lower lash line in the center. To give your eyes a cute smiling effect even when you're not smiling. <laughs> Now this is also just a step that I like to take to make my lips a bit fuller and so I'm just going to take the 1000 Kisses Lip Liner in Natural and apply it to the center of my lips making my lips a bit fuller. Next, I'm going to take this beautiful peachy pink lip color in Noting Hill and I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. Although this is a really pretty color on its own, we're going to be making a very, very popping bright lip color today with this really pretty I'm Lip Liquid in the shade PK602. And we're just going to do a gradient or ombre lip. And so I'm just applying it to the center and kind of blending it out and such. And as you can see, it's all in my mouth right now. It actually tastes delicious like mangoes. And just mess with the ombre until you're happy with it. I actually added a bit more lipstick and messed with it and whatnot more. Um, but I really like this color. And next I'm going to take the Ofra Blush Stripes and highlight over my cream highlight. So I did notice that the waterline does need some color because my skin was showing through a bit there. So I went ahead and applied that. And that is actually the finished look. But we actually have another option of adding a bit more coming up in a minute. And optionally, you can take some individual Ardell Medium Lashes and apply it all over the lid. Um, you can do it the first way, which is more natural, or this way. I think both are really, really pretty. And now just apply some mascara over it and that's it. Now we are finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye!